Been really impressed with, uh, with the program so far and the way the coaching group have integrated their ideas and their philosophies along with Nixie's. So I've uh, been really impressed with, with the off-field stuff, but then the on-field is, is what's really shone out for mine. The group has got a strong appetite to want to work. Um, it's now creating those habits of, of working hard um, and working smart so then they can work consistently. So that'll be my aim, I guess, over the first to three years across that group. Obviously with, with Heath having off to North Melbourne uh, real late in the piece, it was a, a whirlwind really. For me it was about building those connections early on and, and making sure that the players understand me and, and how I teach and also me understanding them and how they like to learn. So that's, that's really important but we treat everyone differently which is you know, a real big um, philosophy of mine to, to treat everyone differently. It's not a cookie cutter development approach, it's about understanding the person and, and where they need to get to and, and how we go about that. No, it's, it's really good. Absolutely. I'd rather strain the, the habit of shutting down. It's been a collaborative environment which has been really pleasing. Nixie's been open for ideas and, and making sure that everyone gets a say. So, I mean, not only have we come from outside but we've also come from successful clubs I mean with Raleigh at Geelong with VB at, at West Coast and, and myself and Burnsy obviously at Hawthorne we can bring some IP which Nix is really open to that and, and not only that but we're starting to get again a group that um, you know of a similar age of a similar um, time of their life with kids so it's not only what we do here it's it's what we can do outside of here which is going to instill a, a real strong connection again from the coaching group through to the players. From the outset, stepping into the place was uh, you know, a Tommy Duday, who I know is part of the leadership group, but then there's others who are there, like a, a Will Hamill, a Ned McHenry. So these type of players, that, you know, they're probably not household names just yet, but they've really been embracing um, the, the new group of coaches that have been here, but also being really vocal out on the field and, and starting to not rely on you know, the, the Sloan and, um, and these types to, to have the say. It's, it's the next group that are starting to, to really put up their hand and, and be vocal and um, starting to bring up not only the group below them, but starting to get that, that older group to understand that, hey, you know, we're here for the, for the long haul, bring us along for the ride.